you both were just so willing to support our scholarship. And so this year, because of your support, we wanted to do a special tribute for CJ. Fun loving, very cantankerous sometimes, but he was high energy. Um, as a younger kid, I think he got all his little bad boy stuff out when he was little. <laughs> he, was, he was a little boy that was mischievous as well, as a little fella. You know, uh, I'm talking about the kind that got in trouble at school, talked back to the teacher, <laughs> uh, pushed kids off swings, uh, turned over bookcases on himself. Uh, that was him when he was small. Uh, but I think that got all out of his system early because later on through his teenage years and, you know, he never got in trouble for anything. So <laughs> that's the kind of kid CJ was. Um, outside, outdoorsy, sportsy. Mm -hmm. And and he had a love for music at that same time. The little mischievous part of it, because <laughs> he was that. Uh, and I also want to share um, some very cherishable moments that see him holding a little toy guitar. Mm -hmm. He was actually on, uh, we were on the floor singing and he loved music so well that he had his guitar in his hand as if he was playing with the band. In fact, I think one, one time I accidentally, we had gotten in the van, getting ready to pull off from a show, got to looking for CJ, trying to figure out where he was, guess where he was. He was in the auditorium asleep. <laughs> he just loved it. He, he loved music. He loved church. He loved being around uh, me and the fellas as we travel and the family. He seemed like he enhanced and blew up or brightened up is the better word. Brightened up the areas of wherever he was because when he came in our presence, uh, he always had good questions and he was very active. He wanted to be involved. He wanted to do something. He wanted to help. And he learned to play drums on pots and pot lids. Wow. He would use the bottom of the pots for drums. He would take the screws out of the lids and stick ink pens up through them. <laughs> Those were his symbols. Uh, we couldn't figure out how ink kept popping up everywhere all over the place. CJ was playing drums with ink pens. So he finally got a set and he finally got sticks and then he beat up everything. He would go to the church, have his dad drop him off, lock him up in there. And he would sit there for hours with music, playing with the music, teaching himself to play. <laughs> and he is still pretty much hearing about everything that's going on out here, even though he's in a nursing facility. Mm -hmm. And with Cecily, every time he hears something about her and her music, his smile will light up the room every time. Lift me up, yeah. Yes, sir. I want, I want to be your Come on, Jesus, <laughs> and lift me, lift me up. Yeah, yeah. What I need you to do is just lift me, lift me up. Yeah, Jesus. Come on, Jesus, lift me. Lift me up. Yeah. yeah. He then comes himself shall be shall be lifted up. Oh yeah. I know that it shall be lifted up. You know, even though he only hears it, he can't be there, he's proud. Very much. And so are we, you know, mm -hmm. and we encourage her to keep going because we know that what we do out here also motivates him. Yes. It keeps him encouraged. And that's the way we want, we want him to be, is motivated and encouraged. So that's, that's our goal. And this scholarship thing for, in his honor, is something that we think is gonna make him real proud because CJ was an encourager. He was a motivator. He pushed people to do their best. He does things through other people. He pushes you to do it 
and he feels just as accomplished as you are once it's completed. So that's how we end up doing that. When he got diagnosed with MS, it was his senior year in high school. Um, it progress. He has the fast progressing type. It attacks the nerves and it puts gaps in the nerves. It's like instead of having a straight nerve, it'll be half and it'll gap and it'll die. And sometimes it'll regenerate, sometimes it won't. Most of the time they don't. And it causes lesions on the brain, the spine, and he would have lesions everywhere. They would be active and he would be very sick in the hospital for weeks at a time. And he always pulled through. And all the complications he has done so well, he's proven it time and time again. The doctor said that he would not live past 21. CJ is now 35 years old. And it's just amazing how he motivates himself to push forward. He's a fighter. CJ is a fighter. And this will help some young person do that. His name is Derek Hooks. He said, I think I should be chosen for the 2021 Rural Scholarship because I excel with school. I also plan on putting the money straight into my college use. I don't plan on going to college just for a couple of years, then stop going. I plan to start strong and finish strong. When going through college, you need all of the help you can get with expenses. College is quite expensive to just an average family. Anything can help someone when they are new to college in the college world and they don't have the proper funds without any help. My mom has a pretty decent job, so I may not have a lot of money coming from financial aid, so all of my college money is probably going to have to come from scholarships. That is one of the reasons that I think I would be a great candidate for the scholarship. No matter the value of the scholarship, I plan on going to college to major in agriculture and starting my own business and farm post-graduation. I want to farm row crops, corn, beans, and cotton. The reason I chose agriculture was because my father was a truck driver. And when I am out in the fields and different things, I love the feel of the environment. Cool. Farming takes a lot of hard work and long hours, but I am up for the challenge. When you put in the hard work, the reward is so worth it. Farmers can make money once they get their operations running correctly. And on top of the reward, I will have something to leave my children once I'm done farming. This way, they will never have to worry about anything. Some things are not for everyone, but I would like for my kids to have the best. So I may have to end up selling partial equipment during the process, but whichever way things turned out, I will definitely appreciate this scholarship because it will be a tremendous amount of help for my funds to get through college so I can be successful in life. Once I am grown, I plan on staying in Arkansas where the land is good for farming. To reach my goals in life, I am going to stay focused once I arrive on campus at Arkansas Tech University. Once I receive my degree and begin my success in life, I would love to start looking into having my own scholarships for upcoming college students. Oh, wow. The key to success is to stay focused and keep a straight head on your shoulders. While in college, I am very aware of the distractions that may come my way, but the way I was raised, I'm going to block out those distractions and keep my head swivel and to keep my eyes on the prize. Being successful in life is so important to me. I have to make sure that I am making something of myself and make my parents proud. With all that being said, I would be so grateful to receive the scholarship, no matter the value that it holds. And that oh, was wow. Wonderful. Wow, that's a wonderful yeah, time. That, that was touching. <laughs> that was. That made me tear up right there, right quick. And I think that he is well deserved. And well he, deserved. And he would be very, very proud. Yeah. To know that he had an impact on that young man. Yeah. And to, you know, to share part, just a piece of support for him to keep going in college. Yeah. That's an awesome thing. That's awesome.